Was Edgar Cayce a man who could actually see the future? Or was it all just a lucky ass coincidence? Known as the Sleeping Prophet, Casey claimed he could predict world events, medical technology, and even natural disasters. Some of his predictions? <laughs> well, they're freakishly lined up with history. Others, well, they might still be unfolding, especially when we look at the shitstorm of 2024 and what the hell could be coming our way in 2025. Is the chaos we're living in exactly what Casey warned us about? Or are we just overthinking this mystical crap? Stick around, because what's coming next might either blow your mind or make you seriously question everything. All right, let's talk about Edgar Casey one of the most mysterious and mind-bending figures of the 20th century. This dude was known as the Sleeping Prophet, and trust me, he's not your average psychic. Casey wasn't just throwing vague fortunes at people like a two-bit fortune teller. Fuck no! This guy would straight up go into a deep, self-induced trance, practically falling asleep, and while he was out, he'd start predicting things about people's health, spiritual past, and the, the goddamn future itself. And here's the money shot. He had no memory of it when he woke up. Imagine being able to tell people what's going to happen in their lives while you're <laughs> out like a lot, and then being totally unaware that you just told them some crazy shit about the future of the world. That's next level spooky, right? Casey delivered over 14,000 of these readings, and whether he was talking about ancient civilizations, healing remedies, or prophecies about world events, people kept coming back for more. He was the real deal to those who followed him, and over the decades, his fame grew exponentially. I mean, it's, it's not every day someone can tap into the universal consciousness, channel information from the beyond, and then drop it on you as if they were reading a fucking newspaper. He's been called the modern day Nostradamus. But what makes Casey even wilder is that we're still talking about his predictions. Hell, some of the things he said back in the early 1900s are still being dissected and debated even today. People have poured over his readings for decades, trying to figure out if he really had a window into the future or if it was all just smoke and mirrors bullshit. Love him or hate him, you can't deny one thing. Edgar Casey's name is etched in history. And his predictions? <laughs> They're 100% mind-blowing. Edgar Casey didn't start out as some psychic superstar, but his childhood sure as hell teased at the weirdness to come. Born on March 18, 1877 in Hopkinsville, Kentucky, Casey was your average country kid growing up in a super religious household. Early on though, strange shit started happening. At seven years old, after getting hit in the head by a baseball, he began seeing and hearing things that, that weren't exactly normal. He wasn't predicting the future yet, but these visions and voices, they, they freaked him out. Hell, who wouldn't trip out from hearing or seeing shit no one else can? Being a quiet, oddball kid, he kept it mostly to himself, knowing how fucking nuts it would sound if he talked about it. Casey's gift really kicked in during his early teens. 
At around 13, struggling in school, he stumbled on something bizarre. After falling asleep with his spelling book under his pillow, he woke up knowing how to spell all the words by heart. Shit, it worked so well, he slept with other books under his pillow, and by morning, he'd have all the knowledge. His sleep <laughs> wasn't normal, but at that point, he didn't realize just how far down the fucking rabbit hole this ability would take him. As Casey grew older, his abilities became harder to ignore. In a trance-like sleep, he could diagnose illnesses and recommend treatments. It wasn't something he studied for, it, it just happened. As his fame grew, so did the skepticism. Ah, here we go. Doctors and scientists had a hard time swallowing the idea of a man diagnosing patients in his sleep. And Casey himself wasn't comfortable with it. He struggled with balancing his psychic gift with his Christian faith, worrying that maybe what he was doing was somehow wrong, even sinful. He constantly questioned whether his abilities were really from God or if something darker was at play. At one point, Casey tried to settle into a quieter life, working as a photographer. But after having issues with his throat, to the point of where he couldn't talk, a stage hypnotist named Hart tried to help. Hart's hypnosis sessions only cured Casey's laryngitis while under hypnosis. It came back when he woke up. When a local hypnotist, Al Lane, took over, Casey's voice returned permanently, and his psychic abilities bloomed. This opened the door to his deeper clairvoyant abilities. From then on, he embraced his gift, although he still grappled with its implications. Word spread fast, and people started seeking him out for healing. At first, he resisted not wanting to be famous or some sideshow act. But the demand was relentless, and soon he couldn't turn people away. When going into a trance, he would always refer to himself as we instead of I. Casey would always say, we have the body at the beginning of the trance. He spoke fluently in several foreign languages. His readings were wild. He prescribed remedies people hadn't heard of and provided deep spiritual guidance. This wasn't the carnival fortune teller bullshit. Casey didn't charge for his readings and he genuinely wanted to help people. He recommended holistic remedies, diets, herbs, and even exercises that were way, way ahead of his time drawing more and more people to him. Not everyone was convinced Casey was legit. As his fame grew, so did the skepticism. Doctors and scientists couldn't believe he could diagnose patients while asleep. Casey himself struggled with his growing fame, questioning if what he was doing was right. He worried that it clashed with his Christian beliefs wondering if his power was divine or something more sinister. By his 30s, Casey's fame had spread far beyond his small Kentucky town. Doctors, scientists, and even celebrities sought him out for readings. But this took a toll. The more readings he did, the more physically and emotionally drained he became. Casey tried to limit his sessions, but the demand for his help never stopped. Casey was torn between wanting to live a normal life and feeling the pull of his gift, which by now seemed like a responsibility. He didn't want to be some kind of mystical savior, but at the same time, he couldn't walk away from the people who needed his help. So he kept going, 
even though it wore him down. Edgar Cayce's work in healing, spiritual guidance, and prophecy made him a household name, despite the skepticism and personal struggles that followed him. Now, let's get into the juicy stuff. Edgar Cayce's predictions that hit the nail on the fucking head. For someone who spent most of his life knocked out in a trance, the man made some eerily accurate calls on world events, technology, and even medicine. Edgar's visions continue to intrigue and mystify. Of course, the debate about whether Casey was a legit psychic will rage on forever, but you can't deny the fact that some of the stuff he predicted actually happened. And not in that vague horoscope kind of way either. Some of this shit was too dead on to ignore. One of Edgar Casey's most famous predictions was the stock market crash of 1929. This financial disaster wiped out millions and triggered the Great Depression. The wild part? Casey predicted it six months before it happened. In early 1929, during a reading for a stockbroker, Casey warned of upcoming upheavals in the U.S. stock market. By October, the market collapsed, throwing the world into chaos. Coincidence? Mm, maybe. But after that, people started taking Casey's predictions a hell of a lot more seriously. Casey's World War II predictions were freakishly accurate. In the 1930s, he warned of a global conflict starting in Europe, with Germany as a key player. This was long before Hitler's rise. He also predicted Japan's involvement as a major force, which seemed unlikely then but came true when Japan attacked Pearl Harbor in 1941. While not all his wartime predictions hit, his vision of Germany and Japan dragging the world in the chaos was eerily on point. In the 1930s, Edgar Cayce made a bold prediction about China's rise as a global power, foreseeing it would awake and become one of the most powerful nations on earth. At that time, China was fractured and struggling. Nobody saw this coming. Yet, fast forward to the 21st century, and China is a fucking economic and military juggernaut. Calling this transformation decades before it happened wasn't just a lucky guess. It was a ballsy prediction given the context of the era. Casey definitely saw something that others completely missed back then. Edgar Casey wasn't just predicting world events. He was also ahead of his time with medicine and technology. Without any formal medical training, Casey gave readings that freaked people out with their accuracy. One of his wildest insights was recommending electrotherapy to treat conditions back when electric shock therapy was seen as some Frankenstein shit. Fast forward and now electrotherapy is legit for treating muscle disorders. He also pushed colloidal silver as an antiseptic long before it was common and modern medicine eventually caught up to him. Casey's focus on holistic health, diet, and mind-body-spirit connections was way, way ahead of its time. One of the stranger things Casey predicted was the shifting of the Earth's magnetic poles. In the 1930s, he said that the Earth's poles would eventually shift, causing massive changes to the planet's geography and climate. Now, while the poles haven't flipped in the apocalyptic way Casey described, scientists have observed that the magnetic poles are indeed shifting, and not just a little. These shifts have been accelerating in recent years. Whether this is the beginning of something bigger remains to be seen, 
but Casey's mention of it long before it became a talking point in scientific circles is pretty goddamn spooky. Another bizarre yet accurate prediction from Casey was about the discovery of ancient religious texts. In the 1930s, he said hidden records would surface, revealing forgotten truths about early Christianity and spiritual practices. Then, in 1947, the Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered in caves near the Dead Sea, one of the most significant finds in religious history. While Casey didn't specifically name the scrolls, his prediction about ancient texts emerging to shift our understanding of religion was dead on. It's another example of how his insights hit way closer to the mark than most give him credit for. Look, whether you believe Edgar Casey was actually able to see the future or just got lucky a whole bunch of goddamn times, it's hard to argue with the fact that some of his predictions were way too accurate for guesswork. From the stock market crash to the rise of China, from World War II to medical advancements, the guy made some calls that came true in ways that make you wonder, did he really have a window into the future? Of course, not everything he predicted happened. We'll get to that. But when you look at the shit he did get right, it's no wonder people are still fascinated by his readings today. On June 16, 1939, Casey predicted the deaths of two U.S. presidents, Franklin Roosevelt and John F. Kennedy. On January 15, 1932, Casey predicted Europe would be a house broken up and that Britain would lose India to non-resistance, seemingly a reference to Gandhi. In 1926, Casey predicted the human lifespan will be dramatically increased. This has been going on for the last few years. Advances in nanomedicine give rise to life extension through the repair of many processes thought to be responsible for aging. Transhumanism encompasses the belief that humans should use technology to improve physical and cognitive abilities, extend lifespan, and enhance overall well-being. Transhumanists often explore the potential of emerging technologies such as genetic engineering, artificial intelligence, nanotechnology, and biotechnology to exceed biological limitations. This would potentially make the human lifespan hundreds of years. I did a video on transhumanism. <laughs> it's pretty fucking trippy. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. He even predicted his own death. On January 1st, 1945, Edgar made his final prediction. Casey said he would be buried on January 5th, 1945. Edgar Casey died of a stroke on January 3rd, 1945 at his home in Virginia Beach, Virginia. He has suffered from several health issues in the later years of his life largely due to the physical and emotional strain of conducting countless psychic readings. Casey often pushed himself to do more readings than his body could handle, despite warnings from his own readings that he needed to slow down. The cumulative toll on his health eventually led to his death at the age of 67. He was buried, just like he predicted, on January 5th, 1945. All right, let's be real. Edgar Casey wasn't some all-knowing wizard who nailed every single fucking prediction. The dude got a lot of shit wrong, too. It's not like every time he opened his mouth in a trance, the universe handed him the exact future on a silver platter. There were plenty of things he foresaw that well, just didn't fucking happen. And these misses give skeptics all the ammo they need to call him a fraud or just another con artist with good guessing skills. 
So let's dive into some of the predictions that completely bombed. One of Casey's biggest misfires was his prediction about Atlantis resurfacing. <laughs> yep, that Atlantis, the mythical underwater city. Casey was convinced it was real and would re-emerge from the ocean in the late 1960s to early 1970s. Spoiler, Atlantis didn't rise. It's been pointed out that the Bimini Road in the Bahamas that was discovered in 1968 as evidence of its return, but there's no solid scientific proof behind that theory. Despite believers clinging to it, Atlantis remains a legend, and this prediction was a huge miss for Casey, with no ancient city emerging from the depths. Casey made some wild claims about massive geographical changes, warning of catastrophic shit like California sinking and the East Coast getting wrecked. He said parts of New York would be underwater and Japan would completely sink into the sea. Sure, we've had earthquakes and disasters, but Casey's doomsday level predictions? <laughs> Total bullshit. California didn't break off into the Pacific, Japan's still above water, and New York isn't some underwater wasteland. None of his extreme warnings came true, and people love pointing out how these were just baseless fear-mongering that never happened. Casey made a bold prediction about the second coming of Christ claiming it would happen between 1998 and 2001. He believed Christ would return, not physically, but through a major spiritual shift and be reborn in the West. Spoiler, that didn't fucking happen. The millennium passed with no epic Jesus comeback, spiritual or otherwise. Despite Y2K panic and religious folks freaking out. Some KC followers now argue that Jesus was reborn around 1998 and is still out there, just waiting to make his presence known. Now, is that possible? Maybe. Casey predicted the discovery of a hall of records beneath the Sphinx in Egypt, containing forgotten knowledge and the true history of Atlantis. He claimed this hidden chamber would change everything, revealing proof of ancient civilizations and their lost technologies, completely transforming our understanding of human history. But guess what? We're still fucking waiting. Despite countless digs and ground penetrating radar scans around the Sphinx, no hidden chamber or ancient scrolls have been found while some still believe this mystical library exists, Casey's Hall of Records remains yet another unfulfilled prophecy buried in speculation. Now, obviously, these flopped predictions give plenty of fuel to Casey's critics. Skeptics love to point out how many of his prophecies missed the mark, using that as proof that he was either making shit up or just plain wrong. And honestly, some of his predictions are so specific and bold that when they don't happen, it's hard to brush them off as minor miscalculations. But here's the thing. Casey's followers often argue that his readings were misinterpreted or that the events he predicted haven't happened yet and could still happen just not in the way or time frame he originally said. They'll say stuff like, the poles are shifting, but it's a gradual process, not a sudden catastrophe. Or, Atlantis will not physically resurface with magical entities like Aquaman leading the way. Underwater discoveries of Atlantis will surface and prove it's a real place. At the end of the day, Casey wasn't perfect. He got some predictions wrong, which based on the law of averages <laughs> is bound to happen when you make 14,000 predictions. On the flip side of that, he got a lot of them 
not only correct, but dead fucking on correct. Even with the failed prophecies, his legacy remains strong. Whether he was hitting the mark or missing by a mile, the guy left a lasting impression, and his work still fascinates the hell out of people, even today. Now let's dive into the 2024 predictions from Edgar Casey and see just how well the future's lining up with the shit he saw coming. Casey made some pretty bold calls about the world, and as 2024 rolls on, we can see which ones are looking eerily accurate and which ones are total bullshit. Casey predicted that 2024 would be a year of major political upheaval. Now, look around. Our world is a goddamn mess. Political chaos, social unrest, and tensions between global powers are at an all-time high. I mean, we're closer now to World War III, along with another civil war, than we have been at any time in the past. Does that mean Casey got it right? <laughs> Obviously he did. I mean, the world's been on a downward spiral for a while now, but some of the specifics Casey touched on are coming true. He talked about governments falling and new leadership emerging in surprising places. Well, in recent years, we've seen massive shifts in power across the globe, whether it's through elections, uprisings, or coups. Some countries are unstable as hell, while Casey's predictions didn't pinpoint exact leaders or nations, he warned that the world would feel like it's on the brink of collapse. And quite honestly, <laughs> that fucking checks out right now. So yeah, he may have been onto something there. Casey also warned that by 2024, we'd be in deep shit when it comes to environmental fuckery. Rising sea levels, earthquakes, tsunamis, hurricanes, you name it. Hell, as I'm writing this, Category 5 Hurricane Milton is chugging its way towards me in Tampa. The Earth is basically giving us the middle finger. Extreme weather events are becoming more frequent, and we've already seen some devastating natural disasters around the world. But did we get the insane, apocalyptic level of catastrophes Casey was talking about? No, not exactly. California hasn't sunk into the ocean. The East Coast isn't underwater. Sure, things are getting worse, but we're not quite at the Earth is tearing itself apart phase just yet. Still, the warnings about nature going haywire are hard to ignore. Casey was surprisingly on point about some of the advancements in technology that would shape 2024. He talked about the rise of new technologies that would change the way humans live and work, and I'll be goddamned if he wasn't 100% correct. Look around. AI, automation, medical breakthroughs. Technology is evolving at breakneck speed. It's insane. Casey envisioned a world where machines and technology would play a massive role in shaping our future, and here we are, basically living in that reality. From AI-powered systems to medical advancements that are extending human life, Casey's predictions about tech are spooky accurate. Sure, we don't have flying cars or time travel yet, but with the rapid pace of innovation, it feels like we're not too far away from that. What didn't happen? Now, to be fair, Casey also made some batshit crazy predictions for 2024 that haven't come true. For one, he said we'd be on the brink of some huge spiritual awakening, a collective shift in human consciousness. Look, I don't know about you, but most people seem more divided and angrier than ever. There is no sign of humanity entering some, some kumbaya phase of enlightenment. 
All right, let's talk about Edgar Casey's predictions for 2025, because according to the Sleeping Prophet, this could be the year when shit really hits the fan. Casey had a lot to say about the future, and 2025 <laughs> is no exception. While some of his prophecies are vague, they still paint a pretty wild picture of what might be on the horizon. So buckle up. Casey believed that by 2025, we'd see some serious earth changes. Think earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and even parts of continents sinking into the ocean. He warned about major changes, especially along the west coast of the US and parts of Japan. Now, we've already got the planet acting up, but if Casey's vision is to be believed, we might be in for something much, much bigger. Looking at global trends, <laughs> it's not impossible. Rising sea levels, extreme weather, and tectonic activity are all escalating. Hell, we've already seen wildfires and flooding at unprecedented levels, so who knows? 2025 might be the year Mother Earth finally loses her shit completely. Casey also predicted that 2025 could be the tipping point for global spiritual awakening, a massive shift in human consciousness. Yeah, I know, I know. That sounds like some woo-woo new age crap, but he saw it as humanity finally evolving past the greed and hate that's fucked us over for centuries. But here's the catch. Casey also said this awakening would come with a lot of pain and chaos beforehand. So 2025 could be either the year where we all become better enlightened beings or the year where shit falls apart so hard that people finally wake the fuck up. With how things are going globally, wars, political instability, natural disasters, it's not a stretch to think 2025 might be the breaking point. Casey hinted at technological breakthroughs that would change the way we live by 2025. Given the pace of innovation, it's not far-fetched. AI, space exploration, or even medical advances, 2025 could bring the kind of future Casey envisioned with technology playing an even bigger role in shaping our world. Whether that's for good or bad, we'll just have to wait and fucking see. So what the hell do we make of Edgar Cayce? Decades after his death, the man's legacy is still up for debate. Some see him as a prophet, a spiritual guide who genuinely tapped into something beyond our understanding. Others think he was just spewing random shit in a trance, occasionally getting lucky with a few vague predictions. But either way, you can't deny the impact he's had. His readings have fascinated and freaked people out for years, <laughs> and they still do. Whether he was predicting world events, new technologies, or the rise and fall of empires, there's an intriguing mystery about his abilities. The guy spent his life in this strange space between healer, prophet, and visionary. Fucking weird, right? Yet his name still comes up when we talk about the future, and that's no small thing. So here's a question for you. Were his predictions just a bunch of wild ass coincidences? Or was Edgar Casey truly peeking into the goddamn future? Was he a mystical seer or did he just know how to make shit sound believable? The truth? <laughs> Maybe we'll never know. But one thing's for sure. Casey's predictions, both the hits and the misses, still haunt us today. And whether you believe in him or not, you got to admit, the guy sure left us shaking our head and wondering, 
What the fuck? If you dug this video, don't forget to tap that like button and subscribe. That way you won't miss out on more of my fucked up commentary. And besides, I really do appreciate it. Is he the real deal or a scammer? Let me know down in the comments what you think of old Edgar. Oh, don't forget to check out my kick fucking ass merch. The link's in the dysfunction. I've got Scarinator t-shirts and tanks. Stay creepy t-shirts, tanks, mugs, stickers, and all kinds of cool stuff. Fuck yeah, man. Until next time, y'all keep it real, keep it chill, and stay creepy. Catch you on the flip. Thank you for watching and listening until the very end. You kick total ass.